Hi, I'm Steve Barry with ProGrass. I'm here in Budapest, Hungary, and I'm here to see some green roofs. Uh, it's a great place to visit green roof installations if you're looking to get some more information on European styles and European techniques. Budapest is a great city. It's got a beautiful history and a lot of interesting things to see while you're here. It's a great place to come if you're looking to do a vacation and at the same time learn about green roof and horticultural aspects of rooftop gardening. We're here visiting in Budapest, Hungary. Uh, this is Gabe from Diadem USA, and we're here visiting the rooftop of a water treatment plant in Budapest. And the site, as you can see, is fairly large. It's about 10 acres of an extensive green roof, and uh, we're just here to see how it's doing. And so, Gabe, how long has this roof been here? It's about uh, five months old, because we have uh, finished the installation in October. So, and that's the situation, so you can see the vegetation, how it developed so mm -hmm. far. Okay, and the soil, it looks like it's pretty shallow. How, how deep is the soil level? The soil is normally about two inch depth in the extensive areas, but we have some semi-intensive areas with more perennials mm -hmm. and different plants. There we have about four inch depth, and we have also some intensive boxes. Some higher boxes for the trees and some lower boxes for the bushes. Okay. And the last thing I guess is that I'm surprised that is there's no irrigation on this roof. There's, there's no watering at all additional except in the planter boxes. So this roof system is going to be based, be based totally on, on natural rainfall, which uh, here in Hungary, does, do you get much rain in the summertime? Not at all. No, no rain in the summertime. It's dry. It's similar to the northwest climate of Oregon and Washington where it gets very dry in the summer. Except we have easily gained 200 degrees. Very hot. Very hot for so a long time. These plants are going to have to really survive in this kind of environment where we have high temperatures and no watering, which is a great thing for the environment. I'm really impressed with this rooftop garden and I see there's very few weed, uh, weeds developing in it. So yeah, That was also the purpose to selecting a, a shallow green roofs because mm -hmm. then we can also limit the weed mm -hmm. here in the roof. Mm -hmm. And it looks like everything's working out pretty well. It's, uh, it's been about five or five months or so, and you've got probably, I would say, what, 20% coverage in some areas of, of the sedums? Yeah, it's about, I would say, yeah. We have about 10 different species. 10 here, species? Yeah, selected for the roof, and yeah, the first year we will be happy if we can gain about until 16 percentage, and just second or the third year we can arrive at 100 percentage okay. covering. And the last question I would have here is, how was this planted? Were these how are the plants installed? Yeah, we have selected the cuttings, the sedum cuttings. Mm -hmm. We have distributed just with hand and covered it with the hydro seeding. Mm -hmm. So not really seed, just the cellulose one. It has mm -hmm. to protect the vegetation and the cuttings against the deflation that to blow away the winds mm -hmm. and the birds pick it up. So I don't, cause I don't see any evidence of the hydro seeding mix. It looks like it all just disappeared. And yeah, broke down. Yeah, yeah, it's it's washed out. Mm -hmm. So because not needed because you can see there is some roots already. Yeah. So how thick of, when that was put down on top of the sedums, how thick of a layer of it? Uh, that was a, what kind of layer you mean? The the, the hydro seed mix was it very thick or very yeah, very thin? Yeah, it was all already a film. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. And how was that applied with a blower or by hand? No, with a blower. With a blower. Yeah. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, great. So we'll go off to another site in a little while. So thanks.